been a long day, fun day, we've arrived back at the hotel and now we've got to deal with data ingest. I thought it might be interesting to show everyone how we actually cope with that when we're out on location. So the first thing to do is make sure all of your cards are neatly stored, you know where everything is, so that when you come to ingest everything you're not searching for a card which has been put in a pocket somewhere, so have some kind of system at the outset. And then we pull everything off to fast SSD drives. It's really important when we're on location that we're not spending time taking off uh, footage to spinning disks because we just we don't have enough time to offload that quantity of footage to all the spinning disks that we'd need to. So we offload to the fast SSDs, this one's backing up to that one, and then we'll go from there on a separate laptop to the spinning disks. We have three four terabyte spinning disks with us for the shoot, and then we've also got a four terabyte RAID, and then three one terabyte SSDs. So it's a lot of data storage and data management, but that's what we're here to capture. So we've got to make sure that everything is stored safely and multiple places, different drives, got lots of redundancy. Every day when we're going out and shooting, we need to have fresh cards because we're eating a lot of data. We'll actually be shooting on Blackmagic RAW again tomorrow, and we've eaten almost two 256 gigabyte cards already. So that has to be ready to go in the morning. We can't be worrying about uh, whether it's copied off and backed up. Now aside from that, there's also the battery systems that we've got to deal with. So we've been shooting on the um, Ursa Mini Pro, which uses the gold mount batteries. We have the Mavic Pro, which is charging at the moment, and then the GH5, we're working with the EOS R a little bit here, and GoPros, Insta360, any LED lights. Now because everything has to be ready to go and in the right place, I recommend getting some of these Ziploc bags. They're really good when you're traveling because you can put things like batteries, cables, mics, tools, anything which is small goes into the little bags, they're labeled up, and then you can just put those into your cases and pull them out when you need. It makes everything a lot easier, it means you're less likely to misplace something, and when you really need to find something quickly, that's very important. Things that are bigger will go into a bigger case. So we've got the Manfrotto bag just here, which is Rathika's first AC bag. It's got like microfiber cloths in, it'll have lenses in on the shoot, snacks, um, everything that she'll need to make sure that the camera system's up and running and the people around her are also up and running. On that note, we have first aid kit. We've actually used that today already. It doesn't really matter where you're going, it's always useful to have something like that on hand in case someone needs a plaster, um, if someone gets bitten by some kind of bug. We've got the first aid kit there, and then we've got loads of ibuprofen, paracetamol, uh, dioralite, sun cream, mosquito repellent, all of the types of things that you might find that you're going to need or someone else on the shoot's going to need. Best to be the person who has it, then everyone's endeared to you. Final thing I just wanted to mention, the setup for the behind the scenes here, the behind the scenes of the behind the scenes. We've got a Manfrotto Daylight uh, Lycos LED panel behind me, just giving a little bit of ambience to the room. On the other side, there is a um, little funny LED bulb which has a little bit of color to it, just to give a bit of interest. And then everything should be nicely represented on the GoPro, but it's always hard to tell what the GoPro is gonna think everything's meant to be doing. So fingers crossed, that looked okay. Did not wanna use the hotel room up lighters, because that would have been hideous and no one wants that. I'm going to sign off and go to bed and I'll see you in the morning.